Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. Let's just get started by opening up our settings, and in here we're gonna start off by navigating into the uh, display section and here we have a couple different things and now some of those actually might appear throughout the setup but uh, if they do we have more options and obviously the settings so let's start off with uh, the uh, dark theme uh, this one is the one that actually shows up throughout the setup process but what doesn't show up there is the schedule mode for it and you can choose uh, from a couple different options we have turn on at a custom timer or from sunset to sunrise and obviously this switch just allows you to permanently turn it on now, oops, let's go back here. Now going back uh, and scrolling further down, uh, we have uh, navigation mode. So I have buttons right now. I do personally prefer gestures, so that's what I'm gonna swap to. And as you can see, it just get, gets rid of the buttons, shifts everything down and just gives you this tiny little bar right here, uh, similar to what iPhones have, as this is now at this point, literally a copy of an iPhone. Um, and anyway, we can click on the settings right here and increase or decrease the sensitivity of the back gesture. So where you have this arrow and when you start swiping it, you can see it does show you a blue bar where your finger needs to start the gesture and then move outside of it to actually activate it. Now, unfortunately, uh, we don't have the option to hide the bar right here for some reason. Uh, some other devices nowadays do. Uh, not the case here. Uh, we also have the swipe to invoke assistant this is turned off by default which i argue pretty decent um but if you want you can enable it and what you do is you swipe from here like so it turns on gemini for some reason okay i uh, just disregard that uh, but yeah, it basically uh opens up your assistant don't care for it so i'm gonna turn it off now going back to the main um display section right here a little bit further down we have colors and here we have two different ones we have the adaptive and we have the natural and you can swap between those uh samsung actually is pretty good at just trying to keep their colors in check so samsung sorry uh google um samsung is the exact opposite of that so uh the difference between natural and adaptive isn't necessarily as as drastic as it is on some other devices uh, i still will prefer to use natural as i find it a little bit less saturated uh, as you can hopefully kind of see just a little bit of a subtle difference there um here i think it's the this is the most visible uh difference in person uh, i think the least visible on the camera uh so yeah you can just swip, swipe through different uh scenes right here and see how it affects them uh that being said the color option right here is completely up to preference i prefer to have something that more it looks more realistic so that's why i select natural now scrolling further down we have the screen resolution and here we have two options we have the high resolution and full resolution high resolution is uh, just basically a, almost a 1080p resolution while the full is uh, something equivalent to like 1440p resolution this is the most expensive version of the device and uh, this is the default option that it actually comes with enabled uh, because going with the high resolution you will be using more of your phone's batteries it's something to keep in mind uh, and every device does this if they come with a higher resolution it comes turned off same goes for like refresh rate for the most part it's uh, usually turned off um, and any kind of like additions like high brightness for instance samsung tend to have like 3000 nits of brightness on their displays that is locked away behind like a hidden setting and i think it's the same same thing right here so if you want to have higher brightness you might need to somehow navigate into the settings and find it somewhere now uh, last thing in here is the smooth display so automatically uh, raises the refresh rate up to 120 hertz uh, for some content now what it does it's uh, fluctuating between different refresh rates to give you best battery life as well as best visuals so when you're scrolling up and down this is 120 looking nice battery smooth um and when you're not doing anything like right now it's just basically a still image it will drop down the refresh rate uh i believe to below even 60 could be something like 10 frames uh to preserve battery life so pretty good option uh, obviously if you want to you can use that if you don't really see much of a difference between like this being disabled and being choppy uh, and being enabled then probably the better option for you would be to turn it off as this will give you battery better battery life overall 
Now, if we go back to the main settings page, we have also wallpaper and styles. And here we have a couple of uh, interesting options. So number one, we have the color schemes, which are picked from the wallpaper that you have set up. You have obviously the wallpaper selections right here. We have more wallpapers and we do have option to, I believe, um, AI generate uh, wallpapers right here somewhere, which I, oh, there we go. So you can just choose a category and then try to generate some kind of wallpaper. Give it a second. Is that supposed to be the glacier? Because I'm not necessarily sure. Oh, no, oh, there we go. So <clears throat> it automatically generates uh, several different images right here, as you can see. Uh, so these are all AI generated. And you can try to find some wallpapers that you might really like and just have some fun generation. As you can see, it does take a moment to generate them. Um, and you do have several different categories to pick from. So yeah. And as you've seen, when picking one, uh, you have the option to kind of try to, I don't know, change up the words. Hopefully there is a way to, oh, there we go, uh, to change uh, just what, what it tries to generate. So we have things like uh, a close-up image of a gate, and you can swi switch to something else from the list right here, as well as with warm hues, or you can change it to natural, uh, earthy, or so on. So you have some, uh, some versatility to this, uh, but in general, it's going to just kind of generate a bunch of different uh, AI wallpapers based, uh, based on those couple cues that you give it. Uh, and once you generate a wallpaper based on those cues, uh, you can have the rest of the phone adapt colors to that generated wallpaper. Uh, and additionally, you have also some other options like shortcuts right here. Uh, so these are the uh, lock screen shortcuts, the ones that are not visible here. There we go, I think it was just turned off. Yep, there we go. So now you can see it shows up right here. Uh, so, there we go. And then we have some more lag screen options right here, which you can fiddle around and see what you want to change there. Now, um, going back to the main settings page, I'm gonna navigate to system. And uh, I'm looking for one last option right here. I don't exactly remember this is in system, so bear with me. While I'm here, there is one option that we can uh, showcase. So this is the uh, live uh, translate. So if you have some kind of content playing, it will try to detect the, the words being spoken in there and give you a live translation of that content. It will consume more of your phone's battery, so something to keep in mind. Um, and. Uh, I never really tested it out how well it works, but it's an option. But what I am looking for, let's just quickly do search for music. <coughs> okay, so as you can see, by searching for music, we have right here, uh, music uh, settings services. So you can click on that and then we have identify uh, songs playing nearby. Now, that when you Enable this the first time, it does give you this pop-up downloading a song database. So this will take a moment to download. And once it does download it, whenever uh, you have any kind of music playing later on, uh, the phone will automatically detect that music. It's basically like Shazam, but it's running permanently in, in, the, back, in the background. And uh, let's just see if it already... Yeah, man. So while this is downloading oh it's just downloaded i am gonna open up on my phone youtube and open up there we go so um 
Outside of just showing you the name of the song right here, it also catalogs it later on. So uh, when you go back home, for instance, you heard some song and you just remember Ooh, that was a cool song that I've heard out of like some uh, some gallery or whatever. Um, you can then go back into here, into the now playing, and somewhere here we have the now playing history, and it will show you just the history of all the songs that the phone detected over the the course, right? So obviously this is just showing today and only one song as I just enabled this and this is the only song the phone has heard so far. But obviously it might get a little bit more cluttered in here, um, depending on how many places you've been, where you've been, and how much music the phone detected. Uh, but still nonetheless a very cool option that is uh, unique to Pixel devices. Now anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.